Moving hay bales is not a rider's job, but Greg Hansford has decided that in view of the questionable organisation here, he should lend a hand for his own peace of mind and safety. Badly placed hay bales are not the only problem. Oil left on the track by a sidecar in the last race is causing understandable concern for riders, and several have already refused to ride. Even Stuart Avant has found himself a broom. Graham Crosby, normally the last person to complain, explains the implications. It's just, it's just so much oil you wouldn't believe it. It's so slippery, I, can't even, I can only just ride this round slowly. If you ride on the oil, it's just everywhere. Any touch of the brake, it just locks up instantaneously. And it's all on the racing line, you know? Like round here, like you're going probably do it a good hundred mile an hour and there's just no way tyres are going to bloody hang on to this stuff with this oil on here. Sidecar did it for a start. But you can't really blame them, although they do have a lot of problems with bloody blow-ups and stuff, and stuff like that. But when they, when they don't, re well, when they realise the bloody things have got the, done an engine or something, he's just carried on right round the track, online all the way. It's bloody stupid. After much argument, bags of cement and promises from organisers, the riders have been given two extra practice laps to test the surface and to find alternative lines through corners avoiding the oil. Greg Hansford's riding his 250, and while the horsepower disadvantage is obvious against 750 machines, he may just balance that with easier handling. This is a very tight and difficult circle. Hansford has caught the leaders very quickly. He's holding second place behind Jeff Sale with Luke Anelli third and Graham Crosby amazingly fourth. has sneaked in past Sale, and Sale's 750 is proving a real handful.